You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mist Kinsman and Mike Benyon Rowe. Of course, the good thing about being a gnome is he didn't have to hurt his knees. Oh, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Just gnome? What? Gnomes are very convenient. They're made of, like, plaster and plastic and things. No real really... life gnomes. Not, 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 not ornamental gnomes. You figure it out. Anyway, what have you got for us this week, Mike? Therapy lined up for you. Um, but I have a story about a map. Sounds exciting, but it doesn't. Um, and then we're getting something just for Daddy. It's Father's Day. Oh, and then we have a game to play in our game of the week. But on screen now, you can see our social media contact info. Just look for at the Cud TV. Adam. Adam. Ooh. Um, as names have gone across the bottom of the screen, um, it's time to go over to Mist and the Showbiz. <laughs> Showbiz news. Uh huh. Pride Month. Yes, we are. Instit. 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 That's in, in the, the midst, midst of it. In the midst of it, but shortened to instit. That's basically my instit. name with added D. Yeah, unlike mm. you. I know. <laughs> Somebody who is also um, a bit desperate, maybe. Okay. Because um, they just completely announced. I would like some. Um, Jonathan Groff, that star oh, yeah. of stage and screen, mm -hmm. film and TV. A little um, bit of a fitty. Say again? A little bit of a fitty. A little bit of a fitty. Have you seen the um, Doctor Who episode he's in? What do you think? You've got to have seen it already. Of course they have. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh, oh. It's a, the chemistry's there, isn't it, between the two of them? It's very, very sexy. I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it yet. If you haven't seen it, it's your own fault. We can do spoilers. <laughs> oh, you don't mind it when you're giving them out? No, 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 because you've already watched it at that point. If, you've, if you're a true Hoovian, you'll have watched it when it came out. At midnight. I, I'm OK 24 hours, I say. Mm -hmm. But 24 hours after it first airs to watch it. After that point, it's your own fault. Well, it, it is very, very sexy. Anyway. He, he, he's one of ours, and uh, he, he was at New York Pride um, mm -hmm. doing a bit of a, an announcement, and he's obviously up and ready for it because uh, he had something very simple to say. Okay. I'm single, I'm feeling full of pride, mm -hmm. and prep. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's available. I shouldn't be full of prep. That's a lot of prep to be taking me a full <laughs> Well, he's a handsome guy, and if he's available, I mean, why not take a microphone and announce to absolutely everybody there, which must be hundreds, if not thousands, of people, come and get some. Exactly. It's easier than Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier exactly. than Grinder. Like, oh, how many metres away is he? Oh, he's behind stage. He's just told me where he is. He's there. <laughs> yeah, well, if I was, I, I'm was, i half tempted to go to New York to uh, say, oh, hello. Is that where he lives? I don't know if that's where he lives. I suppose that's probably where he's mostly based with everything okay. from Broadway and stuff, but depends on what your uh, what project you're working on, yeah. I suppose. I don't know where the actual Eba are based. I have a phrase at this point. Which is very looks very comfortable. Comfortable? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by comfortable? It's good to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> How have you not heard that before? I refer to a lot of people with comfortable faces, and you've not. not I've not on. clocked that no. yet. No, no, okay. no, because I'm innocent, and, and I don't <laughs> have such thoughts. Anyway, time. moving on. Mm -hmm. That's not the only uh, Broadway news. Ooh. Are we a fan of Dolly Parton? Would I be allowed to say no? No, you yeah, really wouldn't. Would you, be, you'd have to hand back your gay card. It would be a lie as well. Yeah, Love yeah, Dolly Parton. Yeah. So you know that she's got the musical Nine to Five, mm -hmm. um, which is based on the movie, etc. So there's a couple of big bits of news with this, really. One, mm -hmm. Dolly Parton's going to do a musical of her life. And it's not just going to have all your big hits, etc. So okay. there are a lot of musicals that will take an artist and make a, a plot Mama out Mia. of them. Yeah, Mamma Mia, etc. And Jersey we Boys and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, Jersey Boys? Yeah, I think Jersey Boys is... Is it the Four, four Seasons? I, know. I can't remember. Anyway. There she is. There she is. It will include some of her big hits, but she's also writing some original music for it too. Nice. So it's just going to be Dolly Parton's history is done as a thing, and, and we'll have to wait for that to develop, etc. One other thing that we've got to wait to develop, mm -hmm. 
Jennifer Aniston, mm. Friends star. She's got a production company, and they're planning on remaking 9 to 5 as well. That's cool. Yeah. So we might get a remake of 9 to 5, and there's also a bit of a, a pitch, because it's very mm. early in the days of development, that they get the original cast in as well. That'd be cool. And a bit of a revamp of maybe the, of the theme tune to uh, go with it. I'd be up for watching that. Yeah, a banging remix of 9 to 5 for, for the modern day. Banging be, remix. Be awesome. Yeah. Oh, there's so many of those. I used to go clubbing in the some time ago, and there was a 9 to 5 remix that was a, a good... It had a good bop to it. Yeah, I know the one. I know the one exactly. But we could do with a new one. That was probably about 20 years ago. <laughs> um, I was enjoying my little self there, doing the little dance that we used to do at the top of a nightclub that no longer exists, right? Um, <laughs> it hasn't existed for 15 years. Um, and, yeah. I remember doing the dance to Around the Old Campfire. Remember that? Around the Old Campfire. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> and also songs you're not allowed to sing anymore because of, you know, naughty things that the, the singers did. Mm. Mm. Anyway, Susie Izzard. Love Susie Izzard. Yeah. Hilarious so Susie Izzard. She... Cake or death? <laughs> She's been in the news recently because mm -hmm. um, obviously we have the election coming up. Are we feeling excited about this? Excited is not the word I have. Go on, what word would you use? <sighs> so I explained that I'm quite excited by, for the election, mm -hmm. right? But also a little bit disappointed. That because, it hadn't happened earlier? No, no, because for the past 14 years, I've basically been hate on a daily basis, so I'm going to kind of miss that. We don't have the time or the money for the therapy <laughs> that is required to unpack that. Does that does therapist. Wow. Yeah. OK. Um, Susie is, or is, for a long time, actually, so, like, I remember going to go and see her in um, Manchester um, to do, like, what was supposed to be her last comedy gig because mm -hmm. she was going to go off and become an MP. Um, and, it, and it did not materialise. No. Uh, and she went off and did more theatre and lots of shows in doing multiple languages mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Absolutely. Like, she's a mind blowing person, mind blowing creative. Um, but recently, because of this new election and um, the Green Party candidate standing down in Brighton, mm -hmm. she was putting herself up for being the candidate, candidate for Labour down there. Okay, cool. Unfortunately, she wasn't chosen. And she does attribute this to being trans mm -hmm. and that maybe there are people down there that just don't want a trans person being their MP, which is really sad, especially for Brighton. Um, but, yeah, it did, did mean that she had a bit of an interview on Virgin talking about this, mm -hmm. Virgin Radio. And apparently she said she knew she was trans from the age of five. OK. Um, which, makes, which makes sense. Makes I think sense. most of us had a little bit of an inkling around about that for our gender identity or sexual aware awakenings kind of thing. Um, but unfortunately, her mother died at six. Oh, dear. So never really got to explain that. So she was um, saying in this radio interview, I think in 1985 when she came out, mm -hmm. um, that she explained to her father, because uh, she was going to be public, so you might mm -hmm. as well tell them, their father said that she would have been absolutely fine with it, which is a really lovely thing to yeah, really have affirmed. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it's... There's still fights to be had. There are. And she does acknowledge, like, in 1985, there wasn't even a conversation. She was, like, a non-person. Mm -hmm. The idea of being trans... I mean, what was it like for you when uh, early on? What was your concept of trans in the 80s? Well, I was still very small in the 80s. Yeah. Um, so I didn't really have a concept of, of trans in the 80s. Right? It wasn't until the mid-90s when I experienced Susie. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, like, watching the show and they're going... Um, you know, boy, but, like, doing girl things. So running, jumping, climbing trees, pushing on makeup while you're up there. It was my first image of someone in the trans community. Mm -hmm. right? And that's why I can still remember it to this day. It's that that's my first, oh, OK. Mm -hmm. right? um, so I think, you know, watching Susie's growth over that time has been epic, right? And see all the things that they've done and they've, they've brought into their serious acting and their fun acting as well. So yeah. I think we have come along. She's a long trailblazer. Way. She's a part of that conversation. Massive, massive yeah. trailblazer. And as Shrek says, still got a lot of places to go and a lot of way to go. Mm -hmm. But when I look back over the, you know, the past 30 years, we have come so far. We just need yeah. to not stop or go backwards. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, 
still got time for a trans MP to come through and we're still waiting on that and hopefully it'll be Susie. But this time, no, unfortunately. That's all for the showbiz this week. Well, thanks for that, Mist. And we do hope that Susie gets her position as soon as possible. You're welcome. Now, stick around as next it's Mike in the buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mist and Mike. Now let's go deep into the dark, dank, disgusting parts of the internet with Mike and the buzz. <laughs> Dark, dank and disgusting. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about your search history. Who so before recording this day went, oh no, porn on my laptop. On my tablet. Sorry, on my porn on your tablet. That's the thing you're correcting me on. <laughs> Not the fact you're watching porn in that seat moments before filming. It's a very convenient medium. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was a medium. It's very wide. Anyway, um, you're going on holiday this year, Mist. No. No. No, I'm far, far too busy. Far too busy. Far, far too busy. Far too busy. Mm -hmm. yeah, trying to tighten that muscle up a bit. <laughs> um, just, 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 Constantly just, doing kegels whilst we're chatting. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please don't swallow the chair. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I thought you might like to go on a cruise. I have been considering going on a cruise. Not cruising, a cruise. No, no, no a Let's big, see. big gay cruise. Big yes. gay cruise. Big gay cruise. Quite a gay cruise, lots of people. Um, but rules about cruising. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and so I thought I'd share with you the you know the rules about when you are and aren't supposed to be wearing clothing on a nudist crude cruise. Okay, nudist cruise. Nudist cruise. Nudist cruise. So yeah, two and a half thousand passengers. Right, there's very strict rules about when you are and aren't supposed to be wearing clothes. Well, it's an, it's a separated enclosed. Yeah, if everybody knows that they're up for that. Yeah. Yes. So the rule is, if you're coming in or going out, you're supposed to be dressed. As Coming in or going out of? A port. Oh, OK, yeah. right. So dressed when you're getting near land. Mm -hmm. Or near land. Or at land. Right? Um, but the rest of the time, you can be nude. Yeah? Um, rules about always have a towel with you. Right? Or, and then some clean wipes as well to mm -hmm. wipe up. Not, where you've not, been sitting down. Where you've been sitting down. Mm -hmm. Not fluids. Where you've been sitting down. Mm -hmm. Right? And erections are a big no-no. Well, how can you control that? Apparently it's not a sexy environment. People just walking around naked. Well, no, I get that, but there are moments. In which point you cover yourself up and go away. Oh, OK. Yeah. And just because it's resolve not... the situation. Well, not resolve the situation, just wait till it goes away. Yeah. Think about Margaret Thatcher stroking her nipples. Ooh. Yeah, that'd do it. <laughs> Turn me straighter. <laughs> I think she's cremated. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just nip into a broom closet and start whacking it with a hammer, hoping it'll go down Ooh, and then no, come back out quite, later. Quite exciting, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, threaten me with a good time. Anyway, uh, <laughs> taking towels and things with you, OK, to, to make sure that you're not sitting on something because you don't want bum sweat. Yep, to yeah, share yeah, 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 absolutely. And, sort of and worse. <laughs> yeah. um, you're OK to be naked in the jacuzzi or swimming pool? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but, yeah. In and out of ports, and maybe at dinner time it's suggested that you, you cover up. But it's a suggestion, not the rule. Oh, that's yeah. that, brilliant. I, I mean, I, 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 I would, I'd never have the body confidence to, to pull to it off, really. <laughs> say, yeah. You're about to say you wouldn't have the balls to do that, then, would you? <laughs> not mine. They're like barnacles on the side of a submarine. But, yeah, no, I, I, I just, I wouldn't... What? I wouldn't. They're like barnacles on the side of a submarine. Yeah. There's a couple of problems with that. Barnacles don't go on submarines. Don't they? No, because submarines are continually moving. It's boats that get barnacles. Well, boats are moving quite a lot. No, but they, 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 st they stay stationary in the, in the water a lot more. OK. Right, and barnacles are like something st stationary to attach. OK. Right. It's like trying to get in a taxi at 40 miles an hour. Right, a taxi stops, you can get in it. If it's going 40 miles an hour, you just fling yourself at it. You're not going to get in, are you? Depends on who's in it. You fling yourself at a taxi that's going Brad 40 Pitt. miles an hour. You're still going to just hurt yourself a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you don't un uh, underestimate how desperate I am. No, I don't think anyone can underestimate that. Um, but moving on quite quickly, you're of a certain age now, aren't you? 
I, I may have just turned 45, yes. May have just turned 45. There's part of that sentence I have an objection to. Just. Um, <laughs> it was over a week ago, just saying. Um, would you like to live forever? Um, like mm, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Why no? Has love gone? <laughs> do, do. Um, I think it'd be really nice to just see how the world evolves and be there and, and, and certainly even getting onto this stage, like the, the level of perspective I've got compared to where, where I was when I was a kid and stuff like that, it's, I can only imagine that just gets more and more and more. But then there's also just the waiting room life. Mm -hmm. You need to be living if you're going to live. And as, of, as you get older, the more sedate you get. And I'd hate to be... Yeah, I think you know. it, eternal life is good, but only if it also comes with eternal youth. I think only having one is a problem. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, well, the good news is that scientists believe that we could live forever. Quite soon. OK. Yeah. As of 2030, yeah, humans could live forever. There's enough of us, though. I know. Now, here's the thing. Here's the kicker. It's not us. It's future generations. Right. Right. So generations get older and older and older. Mm -hmm. Right. They think that by the time we have someone born in 2030, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll be able to help make it so that they can live forever. But we can see that now. Like, if you look to old TV shows, look, look, look at the Golden Girls and what ages they're supposed to be and what ages they actually were as actresses mm -hmm. compared to people who are celebrities now of a similar age. And, and and they just don't like. Well, it's more about life expectancy. Yeah. All right. So, for instance, you're you're expected to live to like seventy. Yes. All right. I'm expected to live for much longer because I'm much younger. Um, seventy three. Seventy three. My life expectancy is. Um, you know, so I'm over halfway there. Way all downhill from now. Um, <laughs> it's true. I'm already for this piece. Um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah. So as, as people get. You know, older, as we get further on, mm -hmm. people will live longer. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, and we, we can already see quite dramatically that now, so mm -hmm. I can imagine it'd be even more With the so advances of healthcare and all that sort of thing, it's, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And if you want to live forever, whoa, whoa, when love is gone, thank you, Queen, why not share that with us at The Good TV? And now it brings us to our story of the week. Now, persuasions of fun things to do in the bedroom. You have a few. I, I, I used to, yes. 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 Well, you still do. They're just more solo activities <laughs> now than, than group ones. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it's like spitting up into the air and catching it in your mouth. Anyway, um, I have a very nice thing going on with the with the, the guy across the no the guy across the street. Our windows are exactly opposite each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're just wanking at each other. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Hello, neighbour. Hi. Is it blue bin or brown bin day today? Oh, I don't know. One... Have you heard that car alarm going off? Pfft. Yeah, it's been out of that for weeks. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> anyway, this is news about a map that's been released uh, of, the, of Europe. Right? Okay. And which fetish is most prominent in which country? Okay. So if you're, you're going on a, a sexual uh, awakening tour, you can now pick what you want to do depending on where you're going, and you're more likely to find that thing. Can, can we cross-reference um, cross this with the map that's for the largest penis size as well? We, we can, but we're not going to. Size quick, right? So if by the power of TV I make that bigger... Ooh. OK. So the dark purple is ball busting, which you can see is very popular in France. Ball busting? Is ball that when busting. you're treading on people's balls? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that right. bit I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, tickling is very good in. It's very popular in Spain mm -hmm. and in in um, Italy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wrestling is very good in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all the way up here. Huh? And, and all the way up there in the in the, in the um, what I like to call the pubic states. Because look, cock and balls. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And there's a cock and balls there as well. Everyone misses the negative image of the cock and balls, right? Um, and then feet is very very popular. In the south of... of south. Pantyhose. Uh-huh. Now, here's the interesting bit. Russia, mm -hmm. pegging. Very into pegging in Russia. You know what they could do? Just let gays be gays. Yeah. We're all about the sticking things up our own bums. <laughs> right? 
But yeah, I thought that bondage not surprisingly in Germany. Giantess. Giantess, yeah. We like we like them tall. We like them tall and berry. Mm. Yes. Snoo snoo, I think that's called. Snoo snoo, it is called mm. snoo snoo. Yeah. Um, lift and carry up if you up in the cold places. Yeah. Oh, there, there's one for our uh, our gallery. What, what's that one? Diapers. Diapers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see, the gallery. Well, Dean um, doesn't wear them for sexy reasons. He he wears them for what he likes to say for confidence, just in case. Actually, what he said, he had, the, he had the squits one day, he came in with the squits, and they're going, well, I think I'm OK now, I'm just wearing it for confidence. <laughs> it's actually a direct quote. This is what we have to put up with in our ears, people talking about shitting themselves and how they're wearing a nappy for confidence. You, our audience at home, you really do not understand the pain we have to go with, with these guys in our ears. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah. What's Vore? Vore? Vore. Oh, Vore's quite hot. I'm a little bit into Vore. What? Mouth fetishes. So, chewing, eating, spitting, kissing. Oh, like mukbang? No, no, mouth stuff. Yeah, but mukbangs videos are eating, aren't they? No, no, no. People eat just watching people chew. Oh, OK. Right? And, like, tongues and stuff and spitting in mouths. And it's a little bit... Mm. Mm. But, yeah, there's an insight into my world. It's not all I'm into. Please subscribe to my OnlyFans. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike. And you said you weren't into the deep, dark, and disgusting tank parts of the internet. That's, that's You're a liar. Deep, dark, and disgusting. It's quite. Oh uh, well, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to kink, kink shame. shame me. No, I'm not going to kink with what I know you get into. I... Wear me like a glove puppet. But stick around because coming up, we have a game to play in our game of the week. Welcome back, and yes, you are watching Chewing the Cud, and we're going to play a little game. And this one is for everyone's favourite pup dad. It's Mike. Are you referring to the dog or for the mask? Actually, I'm not going to touch. Game of the Week. All right then, Mike, let's see what you can do with this kazoo. <laughs> Do you know what that tune was? Uh, chocolate Salty Balls, South Park. No, it wasn't, but OK, that's what the gallery was singing, but that's not what I was doing, but yeah. Um, that was Beyonce in Halo. Right, you ready for the next one? Yeah, could, could, uh, how does that taste now? It's delicious. Why is clean a douche? Right. Do I have a clue? Currently a massive twink. Currently star. a massive twink. Star, star kind of person. So we're talking the Troy Savan It was Troy Savan, yeah, yeah. Oh, OK. And... Uh, Rush. Yes, it was Rush. You don't want to know what the clue was for that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Next one. I would have had to explain what poppers are to you then, miss. Because it's... They don't work on me anymore. I think I've singed <laughs> all the so wise. in my nose. They don't work on it anymore. They really don't I'm, work on me anymore. I'm already dilate, dilated enough to fit a double decker bus up there. I used to love them so much and they just don't work on me anymore. Again, just because you're so wide. I think it's Next changed one. it from isopropyl nitrate to, uh, from amyl nitrate to isopropyl. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-hero Taylor Swift. Because it is. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> oh, yes. Not a single person in the studio or gallery has then gone, Oh, no, miss, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all went... <laughs> 
We are. Sometimes I feel this show is just an intervention. <laughs> Torn, Natalie and Bruglia. Yes. Well done, you. Next one. Well, I think well done, you. You're doing, you're doing a very good job. Your performing skills have come along dreadfully well. What's that smell? Hmm, sarcasm. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm going to give you a hint before. I, I play the tune because you might not get it, okay? Um, but this is this is not what people say about your backside. All the small things. <laughs> yeah. You are very, very mean to me. Yes. But it, it's it's you make it so easy. Spice Girls wannabe. Yeah, well done you. Yeah, Jackie. I, I think you're doing terribly well. Okay. A practical virtuoso of this kazoo. It's because I'm using a different colour this week. Oh, oh, that's it. It's a different. It's in a different key. Oh. I think you might have overstretched your talent. That's not what we call it. <laughs> Waterfalls, TLC. There we go, see? It's just you don't know the words. I know the words. I'm not going to sing them right now, because I've got a crowd of fun with throat, but... Uh -huh, that's the reason we don't want you to sing, OK. <laughs> The park life, blur. Yeah, see? Yeah. So mate, you need visual clues. Maybe that's the thing, because that's the first one I didn't do a visual clue for, and you couldn't get it till I did. It, yes. I, I feel the power of mime is underestimated. It's pronounced me. Oh. <laughs> Cardigans. And? Uh... I can't do about anything but love me, love me. No, nope. I can't remember the um. I can't remember the name of the song. Love fool by the Cardigans. Back in the game. Okay. <laughs> Call me maybe Carly. Carly something. Can't remember her surname. What? Call me maybe, right? Bye. Carly. Oh, come on. I'm halfway there. Living on a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get, it's not Carly Simon. I, no, I can't remember. No, it's Carly Ray Jepsen, so you don't get any points for that.
Can I have a gallery guess, please? No. Nope. Gallery guess, please. No. Nope. Can we have a gallery guess? Desperate Cheeto. No, it was Despacito. Oh, not, you know, going to do the um, Randy Rainbow version. Or you could have had In My Speedo, because that's the lyrics I always sing. Oh, no, check out the Ran Randy Rainbow version. Desperate Cheeto is a parody of Donald Trump. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I know, it's just, yeah. <laughs> Gallery, help me out. No, don't help him out. No, they, they don't know either. I think therefore you lose points for being uh, for poor performance. Oh. Uh, and and, and you're interesting that that's not how this game works. <laughs> um, it was king by years and years. Oh, so, what you, you've gone? Oh, actually, that sounded like it now. No, it no, really, it didn't. It really I, I think didn't. Ollie Alexander's going to come around here and punch you. Depends where he's punching me, because if he's punching you and he has to lose his arm. Are you guys at home getting any of this? At you. all? Like, Are we not seeing it at the comment you, section? You, they write in within seconds of me starting and go, it's this, and get it right every single time. Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely sure we get inundated with letters answering answering your thing. Look, we we, we need of, a phone in. Look at the bottom of the YouTube videos and you see all the comments. Anyway, that's enough of uh, who's a kazoo, I feel. Um, stick around, as next it's Mike in the Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we make something that everyone's daddy will enjoy. It's Crafty Queens. And then I say you just wipe it off afterwards and then I say, oh, hello. Um, so this week we're going to make a present for your daddy or father figure. Mm. Oh, hey. I'm usually the dad daddy. Uh-huh. What was that? I'm usually the daddy. Yeah. <laughs> All that time ago. So what we have here is we have a wine glass. Mm-hmm. I like that noise. Ping. Don't do it too hard or use a hammer because that will make it go smash. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this vessel. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you'll want to put something inside it. Okay. So, we're not making another cheap flashlight out of homemade materials, are we? We've never done that. Mm. We have never made a flashlight mm. because that is a that's a trademark, and that would be wrong. <laughs> um, so what I've given you is I've given you a very a selection of accoutrement of sparkles and mm -hmm. feathers and and rubber just in case you have a particular fetish. Okay. Um, so yes. So and you have scissors to cut up the rubber into small pieces if you so wish. Okay. Okay. Um, you have some super glue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because what we don't want to use is a glue gun for two reasons. One, you burn yourself. And two, hot glue on glass mm. might cause a bit smashy, smashy, cracky, cracky. Oh, yes, so, we don't want that. Um, so before you try and squeeze the glue out of your, your um, super glue, you do have to pierce it. I, I, I am aware of, I have used super glue before. Okay. But you also have a habit of doing things incorrectly. So, um, <laughs> so get to decorating then. Come on. It, come, it's come. just decorate the glass. Decorate that, that, the glass. That's crafty quiz this week. Just decorate the glass. Because every time I do something with liquid, I'm like, oh, you're trying to kill me. You're trying to kill me. There's water or electric. <laughs> right? So this is, contains no water and no electric. Okay. Right. Let's so, decorate okay. away then. Gone for your level, all right? <laughs> You've gone for my level. <laughs> Glue it. Gluing shit onto other shit. That's about all we can do. Gluing shit onto other shit. Yeah. You, you know they have these um, 
these competitions in a drag race where you have to like stick shit on a corset. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that that would be my level. Well, this is pretty much what you're doing. You're sticking shit on other sticking shit. Sticking shit on shit. I've found your level. We're doing it. <laughs> right. So I'm using using googly eyes because. Why are you blowing up the balloon? There was a time I used to. <laughs> yeah. There was a time I used to uh, make balloon animals for small children. Mm hmm. And then the police asked you to stop. <laughs> I think it was more of a court order. Uh huh. Um, hmm. I, I, I don't. Is there a particular theme we're supposed to be going it's, for? It's here? Father's Day soon. Father's Day. So we're doing something nice for your dad. Nice for daddy. Now, with sequins, I, feathers, I and I currently rubber. have no father. Because uh, well, I have... You're recently bereft, of course. Well, not recently anymore. Can't use that phrase anymore. Well, okay. Because it's been a for, for a while. It has, it has, to be fair, but you do yeah. keep going on about it. I do. Like, so I, this is this is not for your for your actual. This dad. isn't for my homophobic father, who turned out to have many many the gentleman's aids in under his <laughs> and knickers and things. Um, no, this is just just some fun things for the the person in your life to whom you refer to as daddy. So for you, it's for no one. Y yeah, it's 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 not it's not really going to be a problem for it being shit, then, is it? No, it's not. Um, I, I, I'm, what I've done is something quite clever. I've dribbled some glue down the outside of the glass and I'm sticking onto it. Try to think of something clever to do with a bit of purple rubber. So how far have you gone so far? Um, absolutely nowhere. Bugger all! Bugger all! I'm, 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 I'm... Not very good at this either. Yeah, no. <laughs> I am considering, I'm creating, my, my, my juices are starting to flow. Well, will you clean them up afterwards, please? <laughs> I felt we're having to get that chair reupholstered every two weeks. <laughs> Shows my juices flowing, Mike. Caustic <laughs> is what the word I've been using. Caustic. See, I, I have to make these things up on the spot. I don't know yeah. what he's coming up with every week. Uh, it just, just flings the shit at me. Which you quite appreciate from what I've seen on your internet history. <laughs> Me enjoying photos of the monkeys in the zoo is not porn. No, when you wank to them, it is. <laughs> Everything's porn if you wank to Love them. Love a bonobo. Uh-huh. Wasn't a bonobo we were looking at, though, was it? A poor gorilla. Big red bums. Uh-huh. Gorillas, they're nice, big, muscular guys, but not, you know, not very... Endowed. It's the only way to say it, really. I don't know. I've never inspected a gorilla's. Have you never inspected a gorilla's? No. When I go to the zoo, I like to learn about what the animals do rather than go, oh, is it whole? Well, it's not that I was particularly what would, investigating. What would happen, what would happen, happen if, if I did ride it like Sherlock? the zoo. That's uh -huh. what monkeys do. They're either flinging shit at you, eating a banana, or cracking one off. Okay. Allegedly. Well, you know, it's a long way from when they used to do the PG Tips adverts. This, this, this little thing that I'm trying to attempt here is not working. I don't know what you're trying that. to attempt, so... I, I was thinking of some kind of kinky rubber base, but no. Uh-huh. Oh, remember, we have to pierce it. It's not like somebody needs to remind me five minutes ago. Well, I've used super glue before. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the gallery could investigate getting a bonobo? <coughs> oh dear. Because you know what? At least then we'd have something shagging instead of just me. Um, sorry. Well, what, what, what do you go through? Talk me through your process then. Process for what? For, for the, the artistic genius that you're coming up with. I go, oh, what have I got here? Let's stick that on a glass, see what happens. Does this fill 11 minutes? Yes, let's do that then. <laughs> I might. That's my artistic process. And the fact I'm getting more super glue on my actual thumb now means I've got that satisfying moment later where I get to peel the super glue off my thumb. That looks like some kind of artistic version of a super germ. It is. It's, it's actually COVID you've got there. Uh, lovely. Lovely. Yeah. I, I could deal with more of that, as you can tell from the sound of my voice. You don't have COVID. You have a cold. It's all the same thing. It really isn't. Do you know how you know? Go on. We didn't go into lockdown because someone had a cold in an office. 
<laughs> year of my life wasted, not getting laid. Did you really go without sex for the entirety of... Yes, because I, I'm a good boy and because my housemate was awful. <laughs> right? Every time I, I thought about, well, I'm getting a bit desperate, it's been a while, right? I was going on websites and things, and they're going, don't forget it's a lockdown, I'll have to tell the police. Oh, so they were going to shop you? Yeah. I'm not too sure this is something Picasso ever considered doing. No, do you know why? Why? Picasso was a brilliant artist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm loving is the domestic happening in the gallery. <laughs> Two minutes left. Uh, sorry, who's directing? Uh, uh, ooh, uh. That was more fun than that. This is story. really not going very well. Is it not? It's really not. You're doing Crafty Queens is not going very well. No. Can we hear the surprise in everyone's voice? <laughs> um, why is it not going very One, well, my love? Very, very ill. And that's what I'm going to blame it on. And two, um, the, I, I just free range. I don't know what to do with free range. I've, I've, I've not got a. You're not a f***ing egg. Oh, well. Free range, bloody hell. I'm basically doing the same thing I did with the egg. I'm turning it into a Las Vegas dancer. You, you turned an egg into a Las Vegas dancer? I did turn the egg into a Las Vegas dancer. You and really it, did. it looked very pretty until you destroyed them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. So you're yeah. not going to smash this glass you know the same what? way. I, I, I'm actually going to leave that as it is, because I think that, that works as a, as a glass. It's got some 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 decoration on it. It's in a bit of a theme. Shit stuck to the side of it. It's got googly eyes on it. The gallery just got very excited about it. Um, but yeah, remember, if you can't get any peen, any vagine, or anything in between, you probably missed, but you could be a crafty <laughs> queen. <laughs> See, not so bad. Every daddy wants a Las Vegas showgirl wine glass. Okay, I'm not sure how well that's going to go through a wash cycle. It's it's for decoration, not use. Okay, you see, I want to put wine in mine. That is usually what you'd use a wine glass for. Oh, and, uh, there's wine in your cupboard. Oh, you're kidding me. No, I'm not. They're fruit jellies. No, they're not. What are they? They're supposed to be wine gums. Oh well. What about wine gums? Because someone whinges whenever I give him liquid near electric. So I brought wine gums, but for some reason someone put fruit jellies in the thing anyway. But eh, lots with them. Man. Oh well. That's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV on all the usual places. We're on TikTok as well, where you can watch this one, get up to all sorts of things and jokes about fisting. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Would you like one? Oh, go on. Then. No. Ow! <laughs> you horror! Don't take sweets from strange men. <laughs> I'm <sleeping> bastard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't let <hurt> me. <you. laughs>